Hey everybody, what's up? I'm back at you with another video review. Um, before I go any further, I want to uh, thank you guys for helping me get to um, 50 subscribers. I want to thank you guys. Um, if I could thank you e e each one of you individually, I would, but I can't really. But um, I did thank you for getting me this far. So I have a special review planned for myself because my collection has grown about three years old comes this summer it will be three years old um but um <clears throat> this was one of my holy grails when i first started my collection it is if you can read the title transformer cybertron supreme class primus yeah the jesus christ of cyber tr of transformers um he did appear in the original comics and the toy that we got of him was not really all that special. Um, it was just a golden repaint of Cyber, um, not Cybertron, Generation One, Rodimus Prime. Um, that's all it was. It was just a repaint. Um, it wasn't really all that special, so I didn't get it. Um, <clears throat> or it was only actually a mail away. But he did appear again in Transformers Energon, only as a voice. We didn't actually see him. And he was the guy that kind of uh, gave Kicker the um, hint that he would be one of the human helpers for the Autobots to defeat the Decepticons. And then he makes his full appearance in Transformers Cybertron in episode 31 of the same name, where um, Optimus and the Autobots have gathered three of the four Cyber Planet keys. Um, and they go to the, the core of Cybertron, take everyone to Cybertron, and they try to um, plead the Primus that the, uh, the, the black hole is getting worse and they need his help. And that's when we see him for the first time. He actually transforms from Cybertron into Primus. And then he was seen from there to the season finale in uh, robot mode. He never changed back to um, 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 Cybertron mode. But let's have a look at the toy. Um, it is a very nice uh, figure. Um, I got this in 2007. I really wanted this when it came out, but I didn't care. I, if someone knows what the com original commercial is for this figure, I'd love to know, because I would love to see it again. Uh, it's a very nice figure. Um, it does have quite a few mini-com ports. It's got four up here on top, one on each gun. Right there. One here on the front, and one on each of these little uh, pincher... Oh, my camera fell. One on each of these little, uh, pincher arms, right in there, but one of them broke, so we would have, like, a total of nine minicom ports. I broke one of them on accident, but it doesn't really matter, because I never really flip out those little mechanical arms. Um, but anyway, um, he does have a lot of major cities, um, I can only point out two of them. I can point out, I think this is Iacon, and on the back here, this is the, uh, the dead city where the Decepticons are. But yeah, um, it's got a lot of nice detail on it. Look there on the top. It's really, really nice looking. It's really nice looking. Um, in the case with all uh, Transformer Cybertron figures, he does come with one of these. He does come with a Cyber Planet key. And unlike other ones, like some of the Leader Class figures, um, he has what's called a unique key. That means only he uses this one key. And... It looks like a normal Cybertronian Autobot or Decepticon key, only the thing is that the Autobot symbol is blue. Um, all other Autobot keys, the symbol was red. And if you look on the back here, it does have the code, so you could go online and unlock an account to Transforms.com, which is no longer available. He also came with, um, he also comes with this, he comes with the Omega Lock, which is also used to help with transformation. And it does actually have a little gimmick there, if you notice there's a little four holes in it. And what those do is they allow you to hold for the cyber planet key. So that's an example right there. There's the, that key. Here's the, uh, the speed key. Um, here's the um, earth key. And here is the jungle key. So you can fit all four of them in there, no problem. Now, I know this might be wrong, but that's the way I like to have them. But, um, let's go ahead and get into his transformation. Um, he does have two ways you can do this part. You can just flip these forward. Um, but the, the, the way you're supposed to do it 
which is actually how it's written in the instructions, is you take the Omega Lock, you plug it in, and then when you pull it, um, it's supposed to do, it, it was backward, but what you do is you pull it forward, you get those lights and sounds, and that flips out these two turret guns, which did have missiles, but I lost those, thanks to my brother. And also, this guy's a triple changer, so let's go ahead and put him into his, uh, first alternate mode first. You want to start by taking the legs, folding them down, um, bending them inward, so you get kind of this going. Let me first, uh, let's, let me just clear this off for a little bit, so that way I have plenty of room. Uh, let's see, yeah. Then what you want to do is you want to take the Omega Lock, plug it into here, turn these pieces around, so they're pointing upward on both sides. Make sure everything's all lined up nicely. And, uh, yeah, I didn't think I had those lined up properly. Then what you want to do is you want to take these guns on the back here, flip them up and turn them around. And, surprise, you kind of have some sort of battle mode. I don't really know what mode this is. It's really kind of stupid looking, so I don't really use it. But, to put them into robot mode, you want to stand them up. Spin the race around, like so. Straighten his legs out. Straighten up all the pieces. Flip up the feet. Uh, separate the legs. Now the instructions say to flip these panels to the back up. I that I usually leave those down. Um, you want to go ahead and uh, take these panels, flip out his fists, or pull them out. Get the guns, flip them up. Rotate them around over the shoulders. If I have to make this a two-parter, I will, but I don't really have to. Um, the last thing you gotta do... Let's bring it up here... Is that you take the Omega Lock again. You plug it into his chest. And when you pull up, this is what happens. Um, I don't know if you saw that, but... Um, the head pops up, the shoulder pieces split apart, and the shoulder panels come up. Um, let me see if I can do that again with my finger. Let's get my thumb in there, pull it down, and back up. And this is a pain to do. Okay, you saw it now. And you also get those sounds. But there's Primus in robot mode. Um, this guy is huge. And I mean huge. Um, he does have a cyber planet key feature. Just like every other Cybertron figure does. Take the key, plug it in, and... Those guns pop out. Same thing on the other side. There you go. Um, now, of all Cybertron figures, um, this one is one of the rarest. Let me just plug the Omega Lock into his chest. Yeah, I got it. Um, if you want to get this guy, um, you're going to have to try EB. There is another two other versions of him out there. There's one that comes with the exclusive Unicron head. And there's also a version that comes with four Cybertron um, Minicons. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that's about it. Um, later guys, I'm out of here. Go shopping at Big Bad Toy Store. They rock.